today we're going to look at drawing with constraints. Okay, Tara, ready when you are. I said constraints, Sandra, not restraints. This isn't Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh. Paul? Paul, can you untie me? Adding a constraint to your work is simply setting yourself a rule that you're going to use for that drawing. For example, if you think back to the point list, when they were creating their work, their rule was that everything had to be made up of dots. So we're going to do something similar, but our constraint is going to be that we can only make the drawing up of looping scribbles. Let me show you what I mean. So looping scribbles, I presume when you say that you can, you know, go big and really big loops and little ones, you're just, it's just about the shape that you're making. Is that right? Yeah, I think you just stick into something. So you're creating an interesting drawing, really. Like I said before about the pointer list, how they use dots to make drawings. You can use anything. You could use squares. You could use... I don't know, little lines, you know, how people draw something totally with hatching. So I'm using these looping scribbles. And obviously where you want it to, to be darker, you'll make it a lot more compact and draw over and over the top of the scribbles to make it dark. Or where you've got fine lines, you'll draw it very, very small. Um, you can see here I'm varying the sort of marks I make. And also you can change the directions of those marks make as well. So, for example, if you're drawing an eyebrow, you can make it tilt in one direction. Mm, mm. I mean, it's so effective, isn't it? And it makes it more interesting, I think, than, you know, the normal kind of, kind of almost like a, like a stylistic drawing. Yeah, it's one of those, I think, where if you stand back at it, you can actually see the full view of what it looks like most. And I think we'll do a few more videos like this in the future, showing different constraints that you can put on your drawing, other things that you can try out, which are quite fun. So I suppose you could even make it more interesting and use various different pens, right? Like as in coloured pens and... I don't know, um, you could do it on toned paper with black and white pen. Yeah, I mean, you'll see examples in a minute of ones I'm going to show you that I've done just that, just what you've just mentioned. Mm. <sighs> Why not check out our previous videos and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss your Art Kick Sunday. Meanwhile, you can check out our podcast and find the creative challenges we have coming up at www.kickinthecreatives.com. Back soon.